Hey everyone, welcome back again. Today we're going to be looking at fast charging. This is a very hot topic that's been requested a lot lately ever since DE changed something about the spawn algorithms and lake fast charging no longer working. So I was thinking it'd probably be better to show you a bunch of fast chargers this time instead of just one in case something like this happens again. First, I'm going to show you the build that I'm using for this video, as we know that strength and flight speed can affect exactly how well a fast charge works. So I'm using 243 strength. I also have sprint boost on as a personal choice, however I don't think it changes that many things about the outcome. What's really important here is that you actually have amalgam serration on your sniper as well. One last thing that some people forget to consider are intrinsics. So I do have my rank 8 intrinsics for piloting for extra 20% arch wing speed. Now that we got that settled, let's jump right into it. I'm showing off the fast charges in order of speed and reliability. This is my personal take on them, so your mileage may vary. First we're going to take a look at what we like to call the cliff fast charge. This is a special fast charge that holds a close place in my heart as well as a couple other veteran hunters as it's come and gone many times in the past. I'm going to show you how to set up the lock pin for this first. So we're going to go to the fourth lantern on this string right here and then we're going to hop right up on top of it. And then we're going to aim at this gap between the two trees. You'll see the upper branch on the left side is higher than the branch on the right side. So we're going to extend out from that left branch right to the middle point and aim there. In your arch wing, you're going to not touch anything, and then just blink forwards three times. This should put you directly on top of the lock pin that I've showed here. So what you're going to do is turn around and face the gate to place your pin. For this pin to work, you are not supposed to pass it when you come out of the gate. You're going to stop immediately before it and start approaching it closer just like this. Here's a series of clips of this lock pin in action. The bomb spawned right around that communications pole, being very close to the lure and easy to suck in. The bomb spawns are also very consistent and rarely spawn anywhere else. You may see them spawning on the right side of the pole or sometimes slightly further down on the rocks here which can be a little bit annoying but because of their proximity they typically always path towards the lure. Every once in a while you may find some bombs spawning on the backside of that transport trailer on the left at the edge of my Volt's shoulder or slightly further to the right. But these spawns are quite uncommon and they will still path to the lure anyways. So let's take a look at our next QC. This is another very old QC known as East Camp. There are two ways to do this. First, I'm going to show you the old way, which is not as efficient, but just to demonstrate that it still works, as showing more ways to fast charge is always better in case something happens with the spawn changes again. As soon as you get in your arch wing, you're going to do a sharp right and sprint over to these double trees at the East Camp. You're going to fly low and get very close to the floor. You don't need to bump it, but you want to be as close as possible. And then you're going to stop an inch forward slightly, and this should create bombs. Normally the bomb spawns are on the front side of the left and right, but if you get too close before you stop, sometimes you'll get them on the back right as shown here. Sometimes they can also spawn on the back left behind that cargo trailer like at Cliff Lear. This is a little bit hard to tell because the distortion effects don't fully clip through the trailer as the bombs spawn quite far back away from it. But one thing to always check is when you expect them to spawn and nothing happens, then move up a little bit and inch closer just to see if they're back there. The reason why I'm showing you so many different repeats of the fast charge is so that you can get a feel of all the different possible VOM spawns. However, there is one issue to fast charging East Camp this way. You'll notice on this last one when I bumped the hill, I never saw the VOM spawn even though they're directly on the lure. This is correct that there's some visibility issues on the VOM spawns doing it this way, and that is why we have a new way to do East Camp. So you're going to fly to the same twin trees, but instead you're going to stop on top of the left peak. This way you have much more visibility on the possible VOM spawn locations, as well as being slightly further away from the lure. Being further away from the lure disfavors the further VOM spawns on the back left or right and increases your chances of getting VOMs towards the front. This makes it more convenient to fast charge and easier to see the VOMs and you are less likely to fail the fast charge as a result. 
One thing to consider about doing the east camp though is I try to swing out a little bit more left when I'm flying out to the twin trees because if you fly too far to the right, which I didn't even do here but it can still happen, is you won't get bombs on the lure. You won't even get them on the camp. And the reason is because the bombs instead chose to spawn behind you when you were flying over the bottom of the lake. You'll see them on the backside of the hill here, and sometimes you can even spawn another set of bombs on the left as you double back. Remember to keep this in mind when you're using East Camp as it can come in handy if you fail forcing bombs on the lure. The third fast charge that we're going to look at today is what I like to call the Insta Hill fast charge. This is the fast charge I personally use on any type of non-speed DPS frame, so this includes frames like Ivara, Roma, Bobbin with his overdrive damage buff, or just anything else I can think of like Garuda or Rhino, etc. Basically, all you have to do is mount your archwing when you come out the gate and immediately blink while you're holding W, and this should spawn bombs on the front side of the hill. There is a very low chance that they can spawn on the front right just in front of the rock before the hill as shown here, but this is extremely rare. The other possible spawns are on the right of the rock shown here and on the left of the rock shown over there. These spawns are a little bit rare, but you'll definitely see them more often than that one-off spawn I showed you on the right. So here's just one more attempt to show you how consistent this bomb spawn is on the hill. The next fast charge we're going to look at is the Geyser fast charge. This is a special fast charge that is usually done in Operator because it is the meta way to fast charge in a solo run. I'm waypointing the possible bomb spawns here when you use this method. You really don't want it to spawn on the far side of the pond, but sometimes you just can't avoid this and I just want you to know that it can appear there. They can also spawn slightly deeper in the woods at the points shown here or even much further out at the logs shown here. Just keep in mind that there are numerous possible spots for the geyser QC and you have to check them all. When you void dash out to do this fast charge, you're trying to get to the spot on the hill right here. This is your sweet spot that once you land here is supposed to spawn bombs on the other side of the forest. If you do it correctly, it should look something like this. I spawned the lure on the far side, so we're gonna grab it in hack. You'll see that the bombs spawned right beside the lure this time, so I didn't really have to pay attention much, even though it was a bad lure spawn. The lure spawned on the far side again, but we're getting bombs in the forest, so I'd have to TP the lure over it itself. And then for the third one, I slightly missed my dash, but you'll see that's okay. I still spawn the lure on the far side as well as the bombs. So let's look at another fast charge. This time I'm going to show you how to set up the lock pin for the drill kit. To do that, we're going to fly over here to Twin Horns and past it. Slightly north of it, you'll see this three rock formation. So we're going to land on the south side of these three rocks and you'll see this small little five rock cluster formation in the center. We're looking for this rectangular one right here. You're going to walk over to it and then hop into your archway. When you get on your archway, you're going to look at the peaks here. You're going to aim through the middle of these two horns at the cliff edge right here. Then you're going to increase your height a little bit so that it is halfway between that cliff edge and the higher cliff edge to the left. Then you're going to blink without touching anything. Now you're going to face the drill camp and place your lock pin. This is the lock pin we'll be using. I'm going to show you a few cycles on how to use this lock pin. You fly out and then arch left very sharply. Then you slow down as you approach the area of the pin and inch a bit closer. You should get bombs on the right hand side of the camp pathing towards the lure. However, this is not guaranteed and sometimes they can spawn on the far left side. This is why I do not recommend using this lure as it can be a little bit inconsistent in how fast you can get your lure charged. Now the last method I'm going to show you is the lake fast charge. You can actually still make this method work, however spawning bombs on the lure is no longer consistent. It is also much slower than before so I would not recommend doing it. This fast charge requires the placement of two lock pins, so I'm going to show you how to place the first one here. You're going to fly past the lake camp onto this Unum Tower piece. You're going to stand on this part of the strut sticking out and then hop into your archway. We're aiming at this spike of the sentient horn near the altar. So you're gonna aim at the top edge, 
and then blink twice without touching anything. Then you're going to turn to face the lake camp and then place your lock pin. This is our first one. Now we need to place our second. To place this lock pin, we're going to have to get into our arch wing and fly out to the middle Grenier camp. It's the big one marked in the middle of your map and we're gonna head to this communications tower right here. Then we're gonna scope in and aim at the center of the triangular shadow of this rock. You're gonna get in your arch wing and then blink four times like so. Once you get there, you're gonna turn around and face the Grenier camp and place your lock pin. This completes the two lock pins set up for this fast charge. I'm going to show you how this method works. You get in your arch wing and fly through the center sentient horns over towards your first lock pin like this. Before you reach it at about 50 meters away, you're going to stop boosting and turn left and aim towards your second lock pin while letting go of shift. Then you're going to slowly approach the lake clear and vomps should spawn close to it. Note that the vomps can spawn just like before, meaning it can include being behind the fence as well as being much further uphill or towards the right of the lure on the downside slope. This can make it a little bit slower and is the main reason why I don't recommend using this fast charge. Also, it seems like there's a decent chance that you can get vomps to spawn elsewhere on the right cliff as well where you're facing the first lock pin instead of being anywhere close to the lure. It is a far enough distance that you can teleport the lake lure there and fast charge that way, but with how slow it is to reach the lure already, having to TP the lure over to that right cliff shoreline significantly slows down your fast charge that it may not be worth it. There is also a pretty wide area range that it can spot in, and you need to know where to look if you want to fast charge quickly. The one caveat to this is being able to see these bomb spawns as you're heading towards your first lock pin before you turn left. You need to keep an eye out for this because if you recognize it sooner, then you can instantly skip waiting on trying to force bombs on the lear and just grab it to TP towards that cliffside sooner. If you wait too long, this can make you late for the terror list when you don't realize the bombs spawned there. In very rare cases, you can get the bombs to spawn on the right as shown like here, but then they will also spawn on the lear giving you a double spawn. This lets you easily 2 plus 2 of 2 vom spawn, but I wouldn't bet on this as I couldn't make it consistent at all. This is why I placed the lake fast charge as the last one in this video as I don't consider it consistent enough to use in the current meta, but if you feel like playing with it, feel free to do so. That's it for this video, I hope that answered all your questions. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time.